Okay, uh, my name is Kenneth Imeka Odo. I'm here to present my short paper, Try to Groupwise Key Anonymity Meets Epson Delta Differential Privacy Scheme. So, this is my bio. Yeah, there are multiple uh, manual attempts to achieve privacy. You could remove all the identifying fields in the info in your data. But most data actually can be captured by other data. For instance, if you have like um, um, demographic data, the suburb where you live could tell how much you earn in most cases. So that's where clonality may actually be a problem. So in that case, even if you remove them, you are not sure what does are left or how much of noise, uh, how much of data do you, you need uh, to remove to achieve a certain layer of privacy or even how you define your privacy. So the federal privacy provides you a scheme for, to achieve that so that allows you to add noise. But now, what's the optimal amount of noise that can obscure the data so you can actually create it? If you look at this image, for instance, the virtual privacy added some noise, you can still see the image of the person. But the morphic one, you see the noise is like extreme, so you can't see anything. So, yeah, the, so the amount of noise can affect the utility, how much you can retrieve by doing aggregate information at an analyzer state. So there are multiple stages of um, the virtual privacy systems. These are multiple phases, like the randomizer, shuffler, and analyzer. The randomizer is where we add the noise, and that's where we are trying to estimate the epsilon value for that noise. That's what the value of the noise that gives us the privacy. So now we actually base our formulation on the body bound problems. A problem. So in this, we, this allows you to like in a group of like twenty three individuals, you have like fifty percent chance that two of them have the same body. So what happens if we could actually have a way of tuning uh, a formulation where we can actually specify how many people want to look similar within a group, and then if, they have, if items are similar, then they're indistinguishable from each other. And if you have uh, as much as of those data closer to the data size, then you have higher privacy because all items look the same, so it's harder to distinguish one from the other. So, and that's the formulation we use for actually creating our, our mathematical formulations. And then you could see the paper, uh, equations one, two, three, four, five. And then in the future work, we could use differential privacy to build applications that are uh, resilient to governors, to government regulations of uh, privacy. And then this is a way to provide quantified privacy levels too. And also uh, in future work, total uh, feature can allow us to provide privacy protection even when they are correlation with some external data, which the, the primary notion of differential privacy would not allow. So thank you so much for paying attention to me and these are my references. So this is the, the paper I'm talking about, this group wise key anonymity paper. Please go read it. So it's it's a kind of a nice paper.